Good morning, children. Hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. Children, in the last class, we have already done with the displacement reaction, with the reaction of metals with acid, non-metals with acid, and I told you I will be discussing today the home assignment which I gave you and the activity that is activity four point eight and certain uh, non-metals. And metals uses which I have given over there, I will discuss that also. So let's start with the first activity that is activity four point eight related to the displacement reaction. Let me first re make you recall the displacement reaction that a reaction in which a more reactive uh, metal because it's a metal I'm talking about. so a more reactive metal will displace the less reactive metal from its salt solution for a help for this activity for a help i have drawn the reactivity series and i have written the reactivity series again with the symbol part so that it will be easy for you to understand let's start children children in this activity what has to be done they have taken four beakers let's start with the four beakers that is beaker number 1 and in beaker number 1 that is they have symboled it as a in this they added a solution which is cu so4 a solution is there which is cu so4 just leave that right now then beaker number b and here they took the solution again cu so4 beaker b now beaker number 3 beaker number c we will take zn so4 beaker number d that is uh, fe so4 and beaker number e that is zn so4 so these are the solution which we have filled in the beaker CuSO4, CuSO4, ZnSO4, FeSO4, ZnSO4. So here, let's start putting the next element. That is the element which is in a metal form, because we have to see the displacement reaction of metals. So in the first beaker, I will add some amount of zinc, Zn. Second beaker, I will add some amount of iron. In the third beaker, we will add. copper let me highlight with the black pen so it will be easy for you to understand children and fourth beaker i'm putting over here again some amount of copper and the last beaker i'm putting some amount of iron fillings iron bol do fillings means uske chote chote powder that is the meaning of fillings okay now i have to see the displacement reaction displacement reaction more reactive metal will displace less reactive metals i'm talking about metals over here let's take the help over here from the reactivity series to understand here is a compound given cuso4 to copper sulfate mein tum metal dekho kya hai मेटल है कॉपर एडेड विथ जिंक सो जिंक ट्राइंग टू टेक द प्लेस ऑफ कॉपर वेल इट एबल टू टेक और नॉट चेक द रिएक्टिविटी सीरीज ऊपर से नीचे रिएक्टिविटी लेस होने को होता है दैट इज इट स्टार्ट डिक्रीजिंग फ्रॉम टॉप टू बॉटम एंड इट स्टार्ट इंक्रीजिंग फ्रॉम बॉटम टू टॉप सो वी हैव टू चेक इट डाउन those metals which are on the top they are more reactive so from top to bottom it the reactivity series the reaction decreases of that metal so let me check zinc and copper which is more reactive so if zinc is here just check it down children i have in circle over here and copper is here among the two dono mein se kaun sa zyada reactive hoga jo ऊपर होगा सो जिंक इज मोर सो जिंक इज स्टैंडर्ड 12 और कॉपर जिंक के नीचे है तो ये हो गया स्टैंडर्ड 8 तो इफ जिंक इज टेलिंग दैट आई एम मोर रिएक्टिव एंड आई एम अलोन ओवर हियर 
नो इट कैन नॉट बी पॉसिबल सो ये आएगा और इसका जगह खाली करेगा दिस इज डिस्प्लेसमेंट रिएक्शन मोर रिएक्टिव मेटल विल डिस्प्लेस द रेस्ट रिएक्टिव मेटल सो यहां बन जाएगा तुम्हारा सी यू एस ओ फोर प्लस जेड एन जो तुम्हारा रिएक्शन बनेगा जेड एन एस ओ फोर प्लस सी यू को बोलेगा आप जगह खाली करो लेट सी द सेकेंड वन इन द सेम मैनर यू विल डू सी यू एस ओ फोर है और आयरन है रिएक्टिविटी सीरीज में आ जाओ फिर से और देखो कौन सा ऊपर है कौन सा नीचे है रिएक्टिविटी सीरीज में तो अब टॉप में है आयरन ये और आयरन के नीचे है कॉपर सो डेफिनेटली यहां आयरन होगा ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड और कॉपर होगा तुम्हारा एट स्टैंडर्ड तो अब फिर से आयरन यहां अकेला है आयरन इज ऑल अलोन ओवर यो सो इट विल टेल दैट आई वॉन्ट टू टेक अप द प्लेस सो ये इसका जगह खाली करेगा और यह बनेगा एफ ई एस ओ फोर प्लस सी यू नाउ चिल्ड्रेन वी कम ओवर यो जेड एन एस ओ फोर सोल्यूशन है और उसमें हमने एड किया कॉपर तो हमको मेटल देखना है मेटल यहां जिंक है मेटल यहां कॉपर है तो अब दोनों में से कौन ज्यादा रिएक्टिव है फर्स्ट वी हैव टू चेक दैट सो देखो जिंक रहा यहां दिस इज जिंक एंड कॉपर रहा जिंक के नीचे तो जिंक हो गया ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड कॉपर हो गया एथ स्टैंडर्ड सो डेफिनेटली ये एथ स्टैंडर्ड वाला अगर बोलेगा तुम अपना प्लेस खाली करो विच इज लेस रिएक्टिव दैन जिंक इट विल नॉट लीव द प्लेस सो हेयर यू विल राइट नो रिएक्शन सो इन दिस वे यू विल सी द अदर बीकर ऑल्सो सेम वे कॉपर आयरन आयरन हो गया ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड कॉपर हो गया एथ स्टैंडर्ड अगेन इट विल बी नो रिएक्शन अब यहां दो मेटल है वन इज जिंक वन इज आयरन तो आयरन मिला रहे हैं विच इज ऑल अलोन वॉन्ट टू टेक द प्लेस ऑफ जिंक कैन इट टेक लेट सी आयरन हो गया यहां आयरन के ऊपर है जिंक तो जिंक हो गया ट्वेल्व और आयरन हो गया एट तो हेयर ऑल्सो इट विल बी नो रिएक्शन सो हेयर वी कंक्लूड विद द एक्टिविटी दैट द मोर रिएक्टिव मेटल विल डिस्प्लेस द लेस रिएक्टिव मेटल एंड दिस शोज द डिस्प्लेसमेंट रिएक्शन ऑफ डिफरेंट मेटल्स फ्रॉम एट सोल्यूशन नेक्स्ट टॉपिक लेट्स गो थ्रू चिल्ड्रेन दैट इज आर यूजर्स ऑफ मेटल्स लेट्स सी चिल्ड्रेन Now let's see, children, uses of metals and non-metals. Non-metal, which is essential for our life, which all living beings depend on it, and it inhale during uh, breathing. Inhale, जो हम लेते हैं, which is that non-metal that is oxygen. First answer. Second, non-metal used in fertilizers to enhance the growth of plant, which is very essential for plants. That is. फॉस्फोरस ग्रोथ के लिए हम फॉस्फोरस का यूज करते हैं डोंट यूज नाइट्रोजन ओवर यर बाई गिविंग एन एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन नो ग्रोथ के लिए ऑलवेज वी यूज द नॉन मेटल दैट इज फॉस्फोरस नाउ द थर्ड वन नॉन मेटल विच इज यूज टू प्यूरिफाई वॉटर दैट इज क्लोरीन आंसर शुड बी क्लोरीन नाउ द नेक्स्ट मेटल नॉन मेटल विच इज यू पर्पल इन कलर and basically used in wound जब कट जाता है छील जाता है उसमें use करते हो as an antiseptic that is iodine अगर यहां change करके बोला जाता है which is also used in salt that also you can, will write iodine ionized salt we basically say non metals used in crackers basically it's sulfur and phosphorus children here whatever it's only one if it is asked it generally they will ask you one but i have given both the option in case children they ask you because all these answers i have given for non metals which is there in your book page number 51 and i have already told you earlier that you will write in the book in case children uses of metals which i haven't given you but uses of metals you can use metals for making foil you can use metals for making jewelry you can use metals for making wires you can use metal for different items at your home bells and uh, you can make uh, basically different types of uh, utensils from the metals so uses of metals are common children which you can write it 
from anywhere for wires you can use copper best uh, metal for making wires that is silver basically we don't use for the cost that is that is why we go through with copper good conductor of heat and electricity if you go with um, metallic utensils if you go with the jewelry gold silver so there are lots of things if i speak for aluminium we make aluminium foils for food packaging so those comes under the uses of metals so metals uses you can write it by your own and you can read the topic also from the book once non metal specifically uses i have given and i have discussed with you let's do the home assignment discussion right now which is given with the topic displacement reaction let's see children i gave you mg plus cuso4 i told you how to see the displacement uh, reaction or how to see the displacement is happening in that reaction you have to see the metals so the metal is cu and mg you have to see which one is more reactive than other so mg is more reactive so it will take the place mg so4 plus cu second copper plus silver here copper is having two valencies means it is having valency 1 and valency 2 so any of one valency you can use over here so which one is more reactive copper is more reactive than silver so it will be cu no3 i took the valency 2 so i will put cu no3 whole twice plus silver if you want that you want to take one valency so just write cu no3 plus ag because no3 valency is one it's nitrate copper nitrate plus silver so let me take two over here to give an ex explanation for valency 2 iron here the metal is iron and copper so iron is more reactive so it will become fe so4 plus cu here zn and iron zn is more reactive so zn so4 plus fe here zn and cu zn is more reactive so zn so4 plus cu i hope children please have a look once more to the reaction to the home assignment which i gave you right now and if any doubt regarding the topic which i have explained you you can ask me through campus care children there are upcoming doubt classes for the section which i am taking the section which i am not taking also children if you have any doubt you can ask me through campus care and the section which i am taking for your doubt class you jot down your doubts keep it with you whenever we will come with the online classes i will explain you more elaborate way children thank you and have a nice day children